these New South Wales policemen are reporting for special instruction in the Cliff Rescue Squad. Special Sergeant Harry Ware, Chief Instructor for the course, unravels some of the intricacies of knotting as a trainee fashions a rope chair, which in practice is both safe and quickly rigged. The particular circumstances applying to each rescue job demand the use of various knots and various sizes of rope. Unaccustomed hands swiftly become deft and sure. Experience is the best teacher, and the class now prepares to put its knowledge to the test. And there's no half measures to begin. The tubular steel swinging derrick for cliff rescue work is speedily erected as near to the victim's position as possible. It's a long and dangerous descent. And in cases like this, the threat to life and limb is always present. The man to be rescued is in a difficult position, and training conditions are certainly realistic. Each man in the class is lured in the bosun's chair, following rigid instructions on how to leave the chair how to carry a patient on the ladder stretcher, and the use of a rope line for contact with the crew at the cliff top. Special precautions are taken to keep the stretcher in a horizontal position. The cliff top team bend their backs, and slowly rescuer and rescued ascend to safety. In the Blue Mountains area of New South Wales, Further practical experience is gained. Trainees already accustomed to short seaboard descents find themselves going down as much as 1,100 feet. The main hauling rope consists of two and three quarter inch manila, and the derrick is mostly set about a foot to 18 inches from the cliff edge. A strict observance of all safety factors and set routines is of prime importance. Since its inception in 1942, members of the Police Rescue Squad have earned many awards for gallantry in yet another police field of service to the community. <laughs>